this is uh, the lower um, roadside part of where the pigs were recently. And uh, I decided I want this area for my hazelnut trees. Uh, I actually bought a flat of seedlings last year. Um, they've been living in pots ever since. And uh, hog huts tipped up on its side because we had one tree that was insisting on falling in that direction. So to protect the shelter, we just moved it out of the way. Uh, now, as mentioned, I think in the previous video, when we're feeding the pigs, um, we, we target the stuff that we want them to basically destroy uh, with their feed. Um, this stump isn't actually the best example. That one's a good one. So by throwing the feed repeatedly around the root structure of any trees that we want down and, and stumps potentially removed, um, look at what they did. They exposed all the big roots. And if we have any difficulties or whatever, then it's now no problem to just take a chainsaw and cut them and we don't have to worry about hitting the soil or any rocks or anything like that. So, yeah, they're very useful creatures. We really enjoy them. Mm. Yeah. With any luck, I'll have some trees planted today. Turns out that I was way too optimistic in the, in the first clip. Uh, which was about, I think, the second day working on this, working on this spot. Um, I'm now, what, day six, day seven, and I've got the top half ready. Uh, we don't have a plow or a tiller, so I'm just top dressing with uh, a layer of hay, and then I've got bags of uh, it's rabbit and sheep litter, I believe. But anyway, from one of the building cleanouts in the fall. And I was just gonna dress the top of all of this and when I put some plants in, uh, mix it up in the holes for them. And I was hoping to get, uh, get some planting done today. But then I was looking at this tree and I noticed it's got some damage. Like there's a weak spot. You see it's starting to split. I've got the same thing happening here. This actually, I think, is my fault with the tractor. Um, but it's got to come down. That's going to be a lot of work. It's probably going to take me the rest of the day. Um, I was hoping to leave it just because of how much work it is to get these guys down and cleaned up and everything, but. If I don't do it, a storm will. And I do not want my hazelnut trees destroyed or my garden, uh, which I will be interplanting with my hazelnuts. So, I guess that's uh, what I've got cut out for me this afternoon. Today is now day eight or nine of building the hazelnut grove. Um, <clears throat> but I wanted to show you something. Cause as you recall, we did have the pigs in this spot and prior to moving them. Ah, shoot, smoke in my eyes. Uh, I don't know if we can see where their fence line is. No, we can't, not from this spot, but um, they're deeper into the woods. Like their fence line at the closest point to here is approximately a hundred feet away. As you may recall from a previous video, which was uh, the, um, what was it? Midwinter stroll and visit with the pigs. I may link that in the description. Uh, anyway, I want to show you what uh, what we have here. 
So we've been digging up some crazy stumps. We've got some crazy pits. That clump of maples in the previous clip. That was literally the entire afternoon as I expected for me to cut down, clean up, and remove. And then it was most of today to just dig the stump out. But now we're left with this beautiful fluffy soil. Um, which, well, it's clay. It'll get hard packed uh, over time. Um, without the addition of significant organic material. But what I want to show you here is this. Do you see this? See this layer right here? This hard, crusty, black layer? The focus isn't being very good. This is what the pigs laid down. So as we're scratching and digging in here, this is getting incorporated into the soil. And it's really going to help with the fertility as well as just generally breaking up this clay. I mean, this, this is really hard packed because the pigs really work they always work the areas closest to the fence line the hardest so they're constantly pounding it down and hanging around and whatnot uh, whether looking for attention or just more food or what have you but this this stuff here the pigs made this and they were here in this spot which is I would have to guess about a quarter of an acre for only, no, there were, over... yeah, probably about close to six months, close to six months. It may have been a half acre. Where they are now, we actually measured, and it is a half acre. But if we go a little bit deeper in, I want to show you what the soil down further in is like. Now, this here, all of this, and there's like a huge tract, a couple hundred feet from bottom to top, where we first ran the sheep, and then put the pigs in behind. And it was all moss. All moss. But look at this. Look at this. Beautiful black soil. And it's growing stuff. It's growing stuff that wasn't here before. Just seeds blowing in on the wind. Uh, it's beautiful. So, the hazelnut grove won't be finished this year, I don't think. The tractor has been down. Uh, if they get it figured out and running properly, it's too soft in here with all the rain that we had. Uh, and that means probably another week before we can get in here and finish leveling. Leveling out and... Uh, so I can plant my trees. But I was given, what, what did I count? 71 seed potatoes uh, the other day. So I spent, since what, 11.30 this morning, um, off and on throughout the day, because obviously I've got other things that have to be taken care of here and there, I'm digging a potato bit. Yeah, we're July 2nd, and I know I'm way late with planting and everything, but better late than never, I suppose. So, Stella, what are you doing? Yeah, she's trying to help, as always. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so we'll see what happens. It's quite shady in here right now. Has been since about 3 p.m. Uh, down at the bottom there where I actually didn't plant. I managed to get them all in up here. Uh, down there was shady already at about 1, 1.30. Uh, but this spot does get all of the morning sun from the east and the northeast there. And, uh, and it's interesting to see the different types of clay in just a short distance up at the top here uh, where there was a mound with a big, big stump that James dug out. Look at Really nice and soft and fluffy. Crumbles nicely. I'm expecting these potatoes to do really well. But come down here and look at it. I turned this over, chipped it up with the shovel, and it's really, oh, that's a rock. Really hard and chunky. So these guys down here, they might not do so well. And you might be looking at my spacing and saying that it's a little on the tight side. It is, actually. I've got them about 15 inches apart, give or take. And there's a very good reason for that, actually. Um, first of all, I'm, again, really late with getting anything into the ground this year. So I'm not expecting a whole lot of growth, uh, especially since we're at the beginning of the hot season. Um, <clears throat> plus the conditions, again, that hard clay, I'm not expecting those potatoes to do a whole heck of a lot. Up there, they'll do better, for sure. How much better? I don't know yet. Um, uh, haven't done potatoes on this property. Um, but the other reason is that apparently we are expecting a long, hot, very dry summer. And when you plant closely like this, what happens is uh, the plants come together and form a canopy that completely covers all the soil. So when you do water, um, any moisture that evaporates throughout the day condenses on the bottom of the leaves and then falls back down. So I'm hoping I'll be able to get away with watering maybe once every two weeks, once a week at the most. Uh, and I'm also going to interplant here with, uh, what do I have? I brought some beans, a couple varieties of sunflower, corn. I'm not sure if I'll do all of them yet. Definitely some corn. The sunflowers, maybe not just because the amount of shade here. I might, I've got, uh, I've got sunflowers planted in a bunch of other places. Uh, but I'll do a couple beans. Why not? It's not like I'm short on them. But... Huh. So that's it. Hazelnut Grove is on hold. I uh, repotted a bunch that may or may not come back. Um, nothing likes being in pots. Nothing, really. Not for any kind of length of time. Not with all the wetness we get over the fall, winter, and spring. Are you trying to get the bitey bugs for me, Stella? Yeah, I've been bathing myself in DEET all day. I really don't like doing it, but these deer flies and horse flies are something else this year. Right, Stella? How many bitey bugs did you eat? Huh? Oh, I got one in my finger. Oh, it's gone. All right, I gotta get back at her.